Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make Julian's Double Chocolate Espresso Walnut Cookies. This is actually from the LATimes.com website, and this is where people um, find foods in restaurants or famous restaurants, and they love the foods, but they want to know how to make them, so they go into, onto the site, and then they try it out, and then they publish it. We tr My mom and I tried this uh, recipe, and it's actually pretty good, but we tweaked it a little bit. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. Half a pound of semi-sweet chocolate, chopped. A quarter cup or half a stick of butter. 1.5 ounces of unbleached flour. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Two extra large eggs. Three quarters of a cup of sugar or half a cup of sugar. One tablespoon of instant espresso powder. One teaspoon plus one half teaspoon of vanilla, one cup bittersweet chocolate chunks or chocolate chip chunks. This is 56% to 60%. One cup coarsely chopped walnuts. So first you're going to have to get a 9x9 nine nine pan and line it with parchment paper. We use a toaster oven for this recipe and you need to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. And here it says if you're using an oven um, how are you going to position your oven racks? You're going to position the racks in the center and upper third of the oven. So to start with the recipe, you're going to need a saucepan because you're going to melt the semi-sweet chocolate and the butter over medium-low until it's smooth. And this is going to take about five to seven minutes and you need to stir constantly and you don't want this to boil. So just stir constantly until you're done and then you're going to put that aside. So then you need to get a large bowl and beat together the eggs, sugar, espresso powder, and vanilla until they're blended and slightly foamy. And um, this is going to take about one to two minutes. Then you need to beat in the melted chocolate mixture and the flour mixture. And then afterwards, after you're done, you stir in the bittersweet chocolate and walnuts. You're not going to want to, you know, use the mixer for this. Just hand mix it. And then you use about three tablespoons of dough for each cookie. Um, you don't want to put them right next to each other just because it's going to spread out and they're going to touch each other. So you want to have like a good amount of distance between each cookie. So you're going to put this on the baking sheet. And you want to bake until the cookies are cracked on the top and moist in the center. So it's going to take about 14 minutes. So you're going to constantly check it. And if you're using a toaster oven like us, we had to check it a little um, earlier than 14 minutes just because the toaster oven takes a little quicker to cook the cookies, and we had less cookies. So you check it with a, um, a cake tester. After you're done, you want to transfer the baking sheets to a rack and cool the cookies completely before you remove them because they're going to be really soft. Uh, you want to remove the cookies gently using a metal spatula. So as I said earlier, the full recipe is going to be online on my website. So I'll add the link down below in the description box. Let me know if you want to see more recipes like this. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.